Good morning. Hi, this is Travis from the National Weather Service, and this is your weather hazard briefing for Sunday, January 14th. We have an exit system today, so we'll have some lingering snow, particularly in our southeast. And then we'll have some, the cold air remains if not gets colder with cold air spilling over the divide and northerly flow. And we'll have some um, cold wind chills to contend with a little bit uh, this morning, but primarily uh, Monday and Tuesday mornings. Um, again, I kind of mentioned that we have the northerly winds coming in. We do have a wind chill warning watch out for <coughs> Monday morning, and likely we'll see a warnings following the Montana divide and then even more on Tuesday morning across the northern areas. And we do have a next system of arriving late Tuesday into Wednesday. We have the light to moderate snow, and it has some breezy to moderate winds, so nothing wind-wise what we saw this last system. But um, again, it looks light to moderate snow, and we'll show you those amounts here in a minute. Mm -hmm. We're in northerly flow. We have some lingering uh, low stratus um, across our area. Uh, we'll probably see some... Um, Flurries out of that, but again, we'll mainly just see some lingering snow across our southeast and the Bear Lake region. I'll uh, we'll show you all those amounts here in a minute. Um, there's that lingering snow. We still have a winter storm warning out until mid morning this morning. We have a little bit of cold wind chills up in the right along the Montana divide, but that'll be even more so as we go into tomorrow. And I'll show you all those and just continue cold into Tuesday and then uh, <clears throat> light to moderate snow and um. Uh, breezy to moderate winds on Wednesday, and then just uh, the system moves out Thursday, but we'll have a little bit of lingering snow, along, mainly on the eastern highlands. Um, so here's our, our remaining uh, weather alerts or highlights. Um, look for that. Most of the snow is gone, but we are looking for one to three inches, in, particularly in the Bear Lake region, um, as that system kind of moves out today. Um, we just um, got rid of the rest of the highlights. There will be some lingering amount of one inch snow right up against the, this winter storm morning in the Malad area um, this morning, um, the next hour or two. And then here's this wind chill watch, um, likely a wind chill warning for these areas as we move into Monday morning. And then this will spread even more so a little bit farther south, mainly our, our northern areas as we go into Tuesday. We'll likely need a, a wind chilled. Uh, warning as well. So here's our snowfall amounts remaining for today. Mainly it's just in this corner um, and a little bit, like I said, in the lat area. Um, here's our temperatures for today. Uh, lows, um, you see quite low across the Montana Divide. And then here's our highs, which are not very high, um, low 20s to mid 20s. Here's our wind chills, um, just borderline right in the Island Park area for an hour or two this morning. And then as we go into Monday morning, much cooler temperatures. We'll all be uh, nicer weather, at least starting Monday. Um, clearer skies, so quite cold. You can see even the, the daytime highs are quite cold, barely getting in the 20s with some areas. You know, wind chills are uh, uh, more. Here's where we're likely need the warnings here for Monday morning. And then here's a the snowfall mass. This is mainly just going to be some... Um, Flurries coming out of stratus, low clouds, um, just some lingering moisture in the area. Um, and then here's our temperatures on Tuesday, quite cold again, the negatives across most of the area. And then our, our daytime highs are quite low still. Wind chill warning will likely need to be more widespread, um, dropping down as far as particularly um, Blackfoot and the Eastern Highlands. And then we go, our wind gusts get a little bit breezy Tuesday out of the next system. Uh, again, that's coming Tuesday night into Wednesday. Here's our Tuesday night winds. Um, still not quite there, but you can see southerly. This will create some downsloping for that. Precip starts Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then here's our Wednesday temperatures. You can see it does go above, uh, probably have a rain-snow mix a little bit here on um, some of the areas on Wednesday across the Eastern Magic Valley. And here's our snowfall on Mount Wednesday. As you can see, they're kind of showing that, that downsloping area, not as much snow because it starts out as a rain snow mix. And then here's your, you know, moderate snow across the mountains and then uh, light to moderate uh, snow in the Snake Plain, and particularly the more moderate is more up against the, the bench areas. And then here's your wind gust on Wednesday. It gets a little bit breezy, particularly as you go into the evening. Um, so we'll have some blowing and drifting snow to contend with with that. And just uh, here's our 6 to 10 uh, day outlook. It still continues to be slightly above normal on the, the precip chances and warmer than normal 
on the temperatures, and then the same continues for the 8 to 14, slightly above normal chances for precip and above normal chances for, for temperatures being above normal. So again, just we have lingering snow from an exiting system today. High pressure is going to build in, northerly winds, um, cold air drops over the divide, a little bit breezy northerly winds. We'll have a wind chill uh, warning likely out um, for Monday and Tuesday mornings. Um, borderline for this morning, but still quite cold. And then our next system rise late Tuesday um, and goes into Wednesday and then even lingers into Thursday for our eastern areas. And uh, So that concludes the briefing. If you have any questions, give us a call at this number. Thanks.